everybody, welcome. This is the third video in the six-part series. And today we're going to talk about the importance of a meditation practice. And what I mean by meditation practice, it means that it's a daily routine. Just like you wake up in the morning and you take a shower and you brush your teeth, meditation should be a practice. And the reason why we say that is because the effects of meditation can really be seen long term. Because as you're building the positive vibrations of meditation, it takes a while for those vibrations to really take root and to start really affecting all the levels of your system. Now, I don't mind technology, but I feel technology has hijacked our spirituality and our growth. In fact, I'll go as far as to say that technology wants to make artificial intelligence as the new God. And I am farthest from that reality. In fact, I recommend everybody turn off your phones, your iPads, and your laptops. Spend time every morning going outside, sitting and meditating, facing east as the sun rises. Now the reason why I say that is because it has been scientifically proven that the sun's rays in the morning have the most beneficial, vibratory, impactful on your system, physically, mentally, emotionally, psychologically. Those vibrations of the sun represents the rays of fire in that element. And like the fire element, it rejuvenates. At the same time, it really releases and cuts and burns whatever negativity may be around you or inside you. That's why I recommend at least 10, 15 minutes in the morning, sit down and do whatever meditation you do and just face east. Allow the sun rays to really hit your face and your whole body. And see how it really vibrates. See how it resonates. See how, how your consciousness changes when you're doing that type of meditation. Now, I know that mantras is a big, uh, a big deal for meditators. In this course, it doesn't matter what mantras you're, you choose to do. You can just sit there and just listen to your breath, and that'll be enough. It's about absorbing the vibrations around you and pulling and absorbing that which is positive. Now, a lot of times what I like people to do is to sit in nature. You know, put a beach towel, sit at the beach, close your eyes, and listen to the waves. Listen to the seagulls. Listen to the wind as it whisks by and makes that beautiful sound. Smell the, the ocean and the salt air that's there. And then allow your attention to just kind of release. Same thing when you go for nature walks. Take 10 minutes out, find a tree stump or something to sit on, and just sit and just listen to nothing. It sounds crazy, you know, sit and listen to nothing. Because we are in a society where they're trying to bombard and fill our consciousness with things to buy, thoughts to think, emotions to feel. Meditation is about disconnecting from those external stimuli and focusing to the silence within you. Because the real intelligence is when you disconnect from everything else and you start tuning in to your breath and the consciousness within you. That is the power of meditation because when you start opening up your awareness, your vibrations change, what happens is that you start accessing the universal intelligence that's contained around you and in the nature. That's power, not the technology that we're being told 
is where the power is, but it is reconnecting you to your source. So I also want to mention a, a couple other key points here is that during the new moon and full moon cycles, which happens twice a month, that the vibrational frequency of the earth really changes because we have a very symbiotic relationship with the moon and its cycles. So full moon and new moon are the most critical times to set intentions and to really use the power of the moon to release out either negativity or to set an intention for something that you are uh, needing in your life. If you're gonna be starting a new job, if you're gonna be starting a, a new relationship and you want to take the, the, the beautiful blessings, vibrations of the nature and you wanna set into motion a positive step, do it on the full moon. That is the most auspicious time to do it. That's when the vibrations are there to benefit you. And I also recommend during these times to, if you can, if you have a backyard or if you have a place where you can do a small little bonfire, you know, sit and just create that fire and meditate in front of that, uh, that fire pit. And putting your thoughts and your intentions into that fire really capitalizes on two powerful aspects, the moon vibrations and the power of the fire element in that fire pit. And then when you put your intention Miracles start to happen. You start seeing mani things manifest in your favor all the time. And we do it at, at the meditation center here uh, doing full moons and new moons. And it's pretty powerful. So that's today's uh, meditation instruction. I hope you are really enjoying this series. And I look forward to the comments that you, in the link down below. Thanks, guys, and I'll talk to you next week.